What's up, everybody? I'm back again. You know, I don't think it's fair that I put these videos on here without telling you my story and what my mission is. I'm 34 years old. I was born with scoliosis, which is a spinal deformity. I had over a 60 degree curve in my spine. I've had three or four operations. My whole back is fused with titanium rods. That's how my problem started. I still to this day could be on painkillers, but it was my choice to stop and say enough. When I, you know, when I checked myself into the watershed in Florida, I was 175 pounds, sick, tired, depressed, tired of running, spent every dollar I had, almost lost my family, and I'm very grateful I have that back. Um, I have a great job and a career that's supportive of me, and you know, no, no harm, no foul. So. You know, I checked in down there, seven to ten day taper on a detox. I did it in seven. Um, you know, by after like the tenth day, you know, you start your head starts to get clear. You see everything a little bit different, a little bit brighter, and you really start getting the program. And you go to all these groups and you're hearing all these stories. And you know, there's always somebody that did it just a little bit worse than you did. Um, and there's things you gotta be grateful for. And you know, you you leave there and and you're not cured. You got to fight this battle every day. It doesn't stop. It's what you do with it. Everybody can make mistakes in life, and that's okay. This is all what you do with those mistakes. If you take them, correct them, and move on, you're a better person for that. No harm, no foul. So that was my story, the mild version, because it's a lot longer than that, uh, on how I got started on painkillers. You know, that I left the hospital after that surgery on liquid rocket set, the law did. Morphine, strong stuff. And then that's the normal forward progression of it. You just, you don't even know you have a problem. You keep telling yourself it's all right because the doctor is writing these scripts for you. Let me tell you something. You think it's all right until you stop trying to take them. And you get seriously dope sick and you do anything to make that go away. I know that life. I've lived it for almost two years. And now I don't have to do that no more. And this helps me to help you, to help everybody at the same time. You know, if you're an addict, or an alcoholic, whatever, we're all the same. Doesn't matter if you're white, black, green, purple, millions of dollars, no money, house, no house, living in a box. It does not discriminate. It'll kill you if you don't address it. That's no joke. There's days I'd be driving, ready to take myself into a tree because I thought it was easier to kill myself than to go get help doesn't have to be like that this is like a little testimonial of mine sharing this with i don't know how many people are going to look at it but i don't know, i don't care i'm not embarrassed i'm not ashamed it's a disease and you, you can't control it so I, I, I i'm begging with you if you or anybody you know has a problem stop being in denial let it go go get help help's there waiting for you They'll take care of you. Whatever it is, it's a seamless and easy process. And when you walk out of there with your eyes bright, your head high, feeling like a new person, man, it's just, it's just a great feeling. So please spread the word, man. Spread my message. Get your friends to tell your friends to tell your friends. I mean, just, you know, I'm not doing this. Is, I'm doing this for me. Because I, I'm not I'm obligated because I want to give back and I want to help people. Just like people helped me to get where I was. Now I've been blessed. I didn't lose anything. Still have my house, my wife, beautiful wife, two beautiful kids. The career of 17 years is still there. I guess I'm one of the lucky ones. That doesn't mean you can't either. Just got to give hope and faith a try. And let it work for you. Like I said, I'm going to keep doing these videos and trying to reach as many people as I can. Whatever. I don't care. It's all about helping people out. That's a rewarding feeling. It's a very grateful feeling. I feel really great when I succeed and I help somebody. If it's one person, five people, millions of people, I don't care. Listen to what I'm telling you. I was in denial. I know. I went through that for a long time. I don't got no problem. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, right. I knew I had a problem. I knew I had to go get help. But eventually, everybody's got their own bottom. You're going to hit it and then you're going to go. Never smoked. Smoke a lot now. That's an addictive personality. 
Red Bull, they hated them. I drink that now, but you know what? The alternative is a lot worse. I'd rather smoke a few cigarettes, drink a couple Red Bulls, than eat 30 pills a day easy with a few other things on top of that. I'm not proud of it, but again, I'm not ashamed, I'm not embarrassed, and I will share it with you. But I know there's millions of you out there just like me. And that's all right. You just got to take it, turn it around, and get better, man. And you'll feel a lot better about it. So, this is one for a little bit now. I'll hit you back with another video soon. Um, I'm Rehab Jimmy. And go on my Twitter page and look at all the pictures. I spent every day in there. You know, I can write original jokes off of anything. But it makes people laugh and pass the time. The days are long, but the weeks are short. Go listen to Eminem's CD, Recovery. And listen to the words about being an addict. And listen to what he's telling you. Listen to the words. I'm going through changes. I'm not afraid. It's very deep songs. Kenny Chesney. 30 days and 30 nights. Put up a real good fight. There was times I thought you would win. He's talking to his addiction. All kinds of music like that. You know. Just reach out. Look around. Spread the word man. Thank you.